So at this year's iCast, I pointed out that the gap in the BFS market for budget bait finesse bass rods has somewhat been filled as a few companies came out with BFS bass rods that cost $99 and less. Now I recently took advantage of a 20% off sale at Tackle Warehouse and bought two of those rods as well as a third rod that had already been out for a few months. And that third rod is what I am previewing for you guys in this video. So let's check it out. So here I am at Shimano USA's website and let me show you this rod. So you come down here and you actually do not go to the bass rods. Go down to the inshore rods. We're going to scroll down and the rods we are talking about are going to be the GLF casting rods and I believe these are the second generation. Okay, so let's read more about this rod lineup. Now it says, quite possibly the most versatile series of inshore rods within the lineup, Shimano designed the all new GLF B series of rods with actions specifically for anglers tossing artificial lures or live bait on the Gulf Coast. Now featuring Dia Flash technology, diagonally wrapped carbon tape forming an array of X shapes on the butt section to deliver an advantage during powerful casts and tough battles by preventing rod twists and enhancing hook setting power. The casting and spinning rods within the GLF B series feature a shorter butt section, ideal for wading anglers and boast moderate actions to prevent pulled hooks from soft mouthed trout. The series features a Shimano custom reel seat and highlights a hybrid EVA plus rubber cork grip for all day comfort and fishability. Built upon a legendary name, the all new GLF B series adds enhanced Shimano technology to a series with a strong reputation for inshore performance. So reading that, you're probably wondering, you know, what does that have to do with bait finesse bass fishing? And I'm going to show you. So we're going to go to the lineup. And I guess we're going to go to specification. So as you can see, they have what appears to be four different rods in the casting lineup. They have a six foot six, six foot nine, and two seven footers. But the rod that we're interested in is this bottom one, the GLF C70 MLB. Now, it's got a medium light power, one piece, but check out this lure rating. One eighth of an ounce on the low end and three sixteenths of an ounce on the high end. So that is definitely right in the heart of lures meant for bait finesse bass fishing. And guide type titanium oxide, grip length 8.7 inch. Now the only thing that has me concerned is the action which is moderate fast. But moderate fast is different for different companies but this length and this lure rating is perfect for bait finesse bass fishing, at least in my experience. So let's check the rod out. So here's a close up view of the GLF rod. And I just want to say that the blue color that's shown in this video is not accurate. For some reason, cameras these days can't seem to accurately render this particular color but the real color is close to the wraps on the G Lumis NRX, a very light pastel blue.
but as you can see the blue only goes up less than a foot on the blank and the rest is a raw non-glossy graphite finish. Overall I think the rod looks great with its mix of regular cork, compressed cork, and EVA on the butt section but what I really like is the reel seat. Now Shimano old heads will recognize this reel seat as the same reel seat they used on the JDM final dimension rods way back in the 2000s. It's a very aggressive looking reel seat that gives you plenty of access to the tube that the blank runs through. Now the guides are normal size, they're not micro or semi micro, and it does have a little hook keeper that the tag is hanging off of. Now let's talk about this quote unquote new dia flash technology. It's basically a rebranding of the high power X carbon tape wrap Shimano's been using for decades now. But as you can see, it only goes up to the first guide instead of all the way up the blank to the tip. So I guess that warrants calling it a new technology. Now this is going to come into play with my initial impressions. Now I want to remind you as I relay my initial impressions that the GLF is not designed as a freshwater bass fishing rod. It's an inshore rod for speckled trout and redfish meant for open water inshore fishing. So keep that in mind. Now if you want to see what kind of fishing this rod is made for, check out the channel RX Angler. So first impression is that the blank is indeed a moderate fast action. Now this is kind of disappointing. It's not stiff and crispy like I prefer in my BFS bass rods and I wonder if the blank is all graphite or if it's a composite. Shimano doesn't tell us on their website. Now if Shimano gave this rod the high power X wrap or the dia flash technology all the way to the tip it would have definitely made this rod stiffer and crisper but once again that's not how Shimano designed it. Now the rod is light enough but the handle is very short as Shimano designed. Now I compared the GLF handle length to a couple of rods that I have that are 6 foot 8 and 6 foot 9 and its handle is at least one inch shorter than both of those rods. So for my longer than average arms, tucking in the handle under my armpit for a hook set is definitely going to be uncomfortable. The good news is that the cork handle is nice and thick and feels good to grip. So the shorter handle combined with the slower more moderate blank, my first impressions of this rod as a budget BFS bass rod are not very good. In my mind it may struggle with hook setting and possibly sensitivity for fishing smaller weightless soft plastics like creature type lures and 4 inch stick baits. But despite its initial shortcomings the best way to find out is to fish it. So that means over the next few months I'll be fishing this rod for both bottom contact and moving baits and when I'm done I'll give you my final review. Alright guys thanks a lot.